Hey, hey, Blue Table fans! It's time for your weekend treat. And this will have to keep you going through the weekend because I'm going to be off the air. And today we're going to talk about a few of my favorite things and take a look at some sites that produce non standard uh, parts and uh, custom figures and upgrades. Number one is uh, Chapter House. They are U.S. based. They're in the in Texas, I do believe. They've had quite a row with Games Workshop over the past year or three, and I, I won't go into the details about that. That is not the topic of today's conversation. But to uh, take a look at what it is that they have. So here, let me just show you a few items. This is uh, Dark Eldar compatible vehicles and bits and there's only one item here that there used to be a jet bike um, and so there's that um, I'm just gonna show you a few of my favorites first off love this tracked vehicle here and that is an absolute ton of fun uh, it comes with you buy the wheels and like this skirt thing and then here's some more modern looking weapons for, I guess, it could be your guardsmen or uh, scouts or whatever it is. And uh, here we go. Uh, Space Marine compatible bits. Let's see if there's anything interesting here. Um, yeah, they had a... Oh, no, wait, there's multiple pages. Okay, wow. Uh, they had a... So here's, like, some jump packs. Look at those. They're awesome. Let's take a closer look. See if it'll load. There you go. Those are, uh, those are pretty cool looking. What I found is it's usually less expensive to buy these from somewhere uh, than to try and make them yourself. Uh, five of these packs for $10? Oh man, that is just ridiculously awesome. Just have these guys do it is, is all I have to say. So uh, here we go. Uh, we've got uh, conversion beamer, combi grenade launcher components. All right, I'm, I'm flying blind here, folks. I don't know where I'm going. Shoulder pads, pre-heresy shoulder pads. Um, yeah, wow, look at this. Uh, Close-fisted power claws. So uh, that's pretty cool. And uh, looks like you get two for three dollars. So yowza, how are these guys making any money? All right. Uh, but here's my fave. This is a giant super heavy walker and uh, you can just guess what army that uh, would be compatible with. Isn't that neat? I wonder how tall it is. Let's see if we can find it. Uh, it has over 50 parts, $14 ship. That's not bad. And uh, let's see, how much are we looking at to pick one of these bad girls up? 285 And let me tell you, for a kit of this magnitude, that taint not bad. And so, um, let's see here. And, by the way, I, I think the way Games Workshop is going to make all these uh, little competitors go away, and, and all these guys combined probably amount to less than 1% of the gross sales uh, that Games Workshop has in a year. Uh, of course, you know, there's arguments about that. Um, anyway, yeah, take a look at that walker. Oh, yeah, I was going to try and find out how big this was. 30 centimeters tall. Uh, well, 10 centimeters is about four inches, so that means this is about tw this is about a foot tall. That is huge. That's like a warlord titan. It's not a warlord titan, a warhound titan. Sorry. So uh, that is that is ridiculous. If you have a tau army, you gots to get you one of these. And you know, in a regular game, you can just make it stand in for a hammerhead. It would uh, it would have a notably higher profile, but you know, come on. It would be cool. All right, uh, let's move on. Uh, they do have a spore pod, but I got to tell you, I'm not a fan of a single one of these Tyranid kits. Um, you know, I'm not. I'm not saying they're bad. I'm just saying, you know, it's, it's not. It's not for me. I'm still looking for a good Tyranid spore pod. I like the one we made, uh, but there you go. So um, let's continue. Did I say Tyranid spore pod? I meant an alien seed pod. All right, so uh, resin terrain, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Oh, um, let's uh, let's see here. The the next place I want to go is uh, secret weapon miniatures. Here we go. 
So Secret Weapon Miniatures has all sorts of bases. They are... Secret Weapon is the place to go for bases. Sorry to say it, but uh, when you're looking for massed bases at a good cost, uh, we tried making our own base uh, line of bases, but it ended up being $2.50 was, uh, was the basically the end cost, the retail cost, and we just, it just, we're, uh, the, other people are doing it better. So, uh, here you've got, um, here you've got what, the beveled bases basically have a hard edge. Let me see if I can show you an example of that. Uh, this would be compatible with Games Workshop stuff. So, that's what that looks like. Alien Temple, this is one of my faves. Could go with a lot of different races, actually. Um, and uh, I'm just, I love the lines and shapes. Uh, every one of their beveled basis kits has different sets. You can get kind of an all-in-one where you get uh, 10 25 mils, 5 40 mils, and 2 um, 60 mils. And if you add that up, uh, you'd be paying $10 for the 10 25. You'd be paying another $10 for the 40 millimeters. And you'd be paying another $10 for the two 60 millimeter bases. Uh, so basically you, say, you save $4 on that. And I just, I cannot say enough good things. I've had a Skype um, a conversation with the owner, uh, if I recall. His name is Justin McCoy. And he is just, he is just a great guy. Uh, I was glad to get to know him and uh, he, you know, he, and he's running a great business. He's consistent. He's been around a while and uh, just can't say enough good things. All right, so uh, this is a, 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 a giant oval, uh, what we call a Valk base. And, um, and then here we have, of course, capsule bases, $6 for three of them. Prices may change. All these videos I make, the prices may change because, you know, that's the nature of the free market is uh, when the consumers say something to you, you had better listen or you will not be around for a while. Uh, let's look at, let's go ahead and go back to the master list here. There's a lot of really good ones. I, um, uh, let's see here. Uh, some of my favorites, uh, one is the Bone bone Gardens or something like that. What's it called? Oh, come on. Where are you now? Bone Fields. There it is. This one is um, just ridiculously amazing. Bone Fields is what it's called. And uh, now, what's great about uh, Secret Weapon Bases stuff is that they leave blank spots for your guy's feet to go on, which is a really, really big deal. And these things come pretty much cleaned up. They need, they need very minimal work to get them cleaned up. And you notice they have a little lip around the edge. Uh, some of them have that, and that's so you can put water effects in if you want and it'll hold the, the water effects. So, like if you had a uh, Cahorn army, and the, these bases would be really perfect. Put like like blood, like blood is just overflowing in here. I put your guys on, then put the water effects on. Stuff like that. You just, you just, um, there's, there's just so much that can be done. Uh, my other favorites are um, Urban Streets. Um, Trench Works is a good uh, futuristic one. And I'm also a fan of Desert Mesa and, uh, what is it, Desert Wasteland. Flagstone's good, too. Flagstone's great for, like, steampunk games. So how many are there here? Three times, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's uh, 25 different, oh, no, don't count hollow blanks. So 24 different types of bases. Now, never mind that they also have sets of round-lit bases, and these come in uh, more or less the same types. Cobblestone's pretty cool for uh, when you're looking for like a steampunk type of type of game. You know, that's awesome. And uh, the casting, this guy's casting is really clean. I've had just nothing but good stuff come out of Secret Weapon. They're they are an example of a, uh, a time-tested company in this, uh, in this business. Here's uh, Town Square bases. More faves. Look at that. So much detail. A good base turns a regular fig into, basically, into a masterpiece. Hold on. I think I just uh, kicked my power cord out. 
did I do? Why did I do that? Nope, it's good. That's what it's supposed to be. Okay, so... Oh, no, I did kick it out. Hold on, guys. i got to get myself straightened out here. Or my computer's going to die. What would I do with not my computer? Isn't that funny? When you're, uh... When your um, internet goes down, boy, life is over, man. You are disconnected. There we go. Now I'm back. I'm back. There were technical difficulties, and you didn't even get to see it. Okay. So uh, let's so let's go to the next one. Um, uh, next one's Paulson Games. I haven't got a lot from them. If anything, he doesn't have. He hasn't really expanded his line. Uh, but he does have these cool bone swords. Uh, these fit um, Tyranid Warriors. You get six of them for $8. 47 millimeters long. That's a couple inches. So it's a, it's a, good, it's a goodly size. And uh, they're very well sculpted. This is my favorite out of the bone sword options. And quite frankly, I think, um, I think that... Uh, Again, uh, Games Workshop could simply include all the necessary pieces, and that would, you know, if they didn't like it, that would make this go away. Uh, mecha parts. So, oh yeah, here you go. Here's here's a selection. Look at this. I mean, this would make a great uh, cyclone missile launcher. And uh, I gotta get, I gotta give it up for that. That looks really cool. That looks really cool. That is fantastic. Okay, so there you go. I guess uh, I guess this is where, and I think a lot of these guys just start making stuff for their favorite army, and then uh, and then they just sell it kind of as an afterthought. But you know, if they're consistent, then I'd say go for it. Personally, yeah, I'd like to I'd like to actually just start stocking this stuff. I might just do that. Okay, uh, 28 millimeter infantry. So uh, here we go. Oh yeah, the old Thunder Wolves. Um, uh, and, uh, there were about five companies making some stand-in for that. And, uh, here we go. Look at this. Infantry beam rifles. God, that's kind of cool. And, you know, this, this doesn't just have to be Games Workshop stand-ins. I mean, this could be, this could be any science fiction game. This is awesome. Look at how clean that casting is. Come on. That is fa Man, I want to be in this business. All right, let's go to Mr. Dandy. Uh, this is another uh, American-based... In fact, let's go back to Paulson Games and see if he has About Us. Uh, you know what I like in an About Us? I like... I like... Uh, that the per that there's a picture of them. So, you know, shipping to U.S., please note, buyer's responsible. Yeah, it does, doesn't even say where this company's based. So, anyway, Mr. Dandy we met at uh, Adepticon last year. And he's just the nicest guy. He's really, um, he's really reserved. And um, so I'm just going to try... So let's go to War Gamma. And he's got a very eclectic mix of stuff here. You know, just... Oh, here's another um, seed pod. And again, I'm not the biggest fan. Uh, no one's really... The, the only one I've seen that I liked, I haven't been able to find out who makes it. So it's 42. You gotta you gotta understand this is this is a chunk of resin. I mean, this is really just an absolutely huge piece of resin with all these parts, and yeah, that's that's pretty scary. So um, uh, blue table painting. We made two seed pods. They're both out of production. Ooh, look at this burrowing beast. Now that'd be a cool seed pod content concept as they come up out of the ground. You know, I would love that. Actually, I think I think I might just have to do that. Like the tongue comes out, blah. So, but you know, usually the labor, because sometimes people say, "Hey, Sean, can you scratch build me a Warhound Titan or whatever?" And I'm like, it is not going to be cheaper than just buying it from uh, from you know Forge World. And uh, personally, I you know I love Forge World. I like what they do. I think they're they're worth every penny. Here's some fantasy terrain. I'm not a fan of this kind of stuff. Um, and, you know, and here's why. See, a lot of people are like, meh, 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 but then they don't, they don't like give any sort of explanation. And uh, me, I just like to focus on the positive and just 
Don't say anything about the negative. Isn't that nice? What a way to be. Not telling you how to be. Just saying, I think that's, that's, a, that's a good way to go about life. It's very healthy. All right, so deadly forest fungi, that's neat. So, you know, it's really, it's oddball stuff. But this would go great with a game like, uh, you know, special rules for like Super Dungeon Explorer or an RPG. Man, I want to do an RPG right now. Look at this, Arachnoid. That's kind of cool. Arachnoid Mecha Terror. That's, you know, and uh, th about Mr. Dandy, his stuff really does stand on its own. I mean, it has its own, it has its own feel. It has its own, you know, reason for being. And uh, so, anyway, you can go to uh, MrDandy.com and see his other stuff. Avatars of War. Now, these guys, you go there, you get English and Espanol. I'm pretty sure these guys are in Spain. The uh, guy, do you figure? Um, and uh, these guys, they're kind of all over the board. They got some games out. War Throne, Deathmatch. Uh, what is it? Warlord Saga? I can't even read that. But uh, but really, what these guys do is they do character pieces, and I've shown you these guys' stuff, so I'm I'm not going to go too far into it. Uh, Avatars of War. Oh, this is Arena Deathmatch. Um, oh, here you go. Shop. So let's go to War Throne. Um, so here you go. You just there's so many awesome figures, awesome characters. They have these units. I've talked about them before. Um, they, there's just so much to, you know, so much to even just look at on this website. It's ridiculous. Um, they have, uh, cool, they, they do, they do have some torso nudity, uh, but, um, I do believe in most, if not all cases, they give alternate sculpts, uh, that are, um, more conservative, I guess, um, but uh, the, these are great figs. They stand on their own. They are, you know, it's, uh, there, there's, no, there's no science fiction stuff. And uh, I just have to say uh, Avatar's War is really cool. I've never had a problem getting their stuff. Um, guy, look at this. Herald of War. That's, that's awesome. I wonder what size base this is on. See, it's hard to tell how big these things are. I'm going to guess a 40 or 50 millimeter base on here. Let's see if this... Uh, if this comes through or whether it just keeps uploading. All right, uh, let's move on to, that was Avatars of War. And, oh, here it comes. Blam! Herald of War. Oh, no, no, no. no. This is a 25 millimeter base. <gasps> oh, I gotta get me some. That's awesome. I love it. All right, uh, let's go to uh, Raging Heroes. And uh, look at how he spells this website. You can barely barely uh, read it but that's great that's uh, that's creativity and this guy has a lot of monsters he's got these uh, great um, blood vestal uh, miniatures uh, which are these uh, women in like this um, very bladed type armor very dynamic poses and so guy good good for him this was very much needed out on the market there's a ton that you can do with those uh, cultists uh, uh, death cult um, death cult assassins so you can make like a whole uh, Grey Knights inquisitorial type army out of those so let's take a look at some of his other stuff here he's got monsters like this manticore um, let's see if I can get some pictures up here yeah there's like a YouTube video of it um, uh, I just I have to say it's, uh, it's, it's cool stuff it's really cool stuff Oh my gosh, and you, you incorporate this into, you know, a regular whole army, and boy, do you have something special. Just one or two figs that are unique, different, not what people are expecting, can just uh, absolutely make all the difference. Um, oh, here we go. Here's, uh, here's the shop. So, um, so yeah, there's your, there's your alternate sculpts kind of flashing around there. Um, and yeah, lots of uh, lots of cool creatures, and you know, definitely check out Raging Heroes. Uh, all right, we're down to uh, we're like four down, two to go. Uh, here's Cromlech. Cromlech, I'm pretty sure they're based in Germany. Um, anyone's welcome to, you know, correct me. And uh, pretty much, um, let's see, online store Africa Core torsos. I mean, there's definitely a feel to all this. It's a lot of orc stuff. 
You got orc compatible stuff, space marine compatible stuff. Um, you've got this guy. I mean, there's a lot coming out of Cromlech that's uh, that's really really cool. And um, so uh, here we go, online store. Buy stuff from our eBay store. So uh, this guy's really doing it outside of the regular, like, there's no, I guess, what you call proper store, but look at this, Cromlech Stygian Nobles heads. That's cool, you know? Come on. Yeah. All right, so anyway, so there's Cromlech. Like most of these, it's it's kind of limited. It only addresses certain ranges, but, you know, that's okay. Cybor, Cybor's pretty huge. I remember when he was first uh, starting, and... Um, He's got he's got a ton of product uh, and reliable delivery. I do believe uh, U.S. distributors carry his stuff, and uh, I just I love this uh, this dwarf bear cavalry. I mean, that is uh, that is really neat, and um, you could uh, make that compatible with a uh, Wormer Fantasy army by just mounting uh, a war machine on there, uh, like a bolt thrower on a bear. You know, and then two guys that are just like, you know, moving it along. That's two guys on foot, you know, accompanying it. Fantastic. Uh, you know, with the right budget. And that that's where blue table painting can really shine is we are, we're experts at doing an army on a budget. But we are even more experts on doing an army with a ton of extra special stuff to it. Uh, notably conversion works, alternate sculpts, uh, specialty bases. Uh, we we get it we get it all together, and uh, our expert inquiry specialists can make these sorts of suggestions on how to make your army extra special, and uh, and and do it so it's you know you know you're not waiting forever you're not waiting six months to get your to get your army, you know our uh, our less than one percent outside turnaround time of twelve weeks. Uh, extremely rare to take more than 12 weeks, which is still uh, pretty good for this industry overall. And uh, our usual turnaround is three to six weeks. I say that officially. If you send your own figures, it, it breaks about two weeks off of that. Uh, so literally, if you do the math, uh, it's uh, one to four weeks just to get it turned around, uh, usually on the lower end of that, if you, if you send all the materials. So here's a Lion Knight. I think I mentioned I was using this in the studio, Dark Angels Army. And um, we've got, right now that's kind of stalled because I'm waiting for the guys to uh, get, me their, get me their army list. Uh, because I'm going to make the studio army into the Adepticon army. Because uh, I got four guys going out to Adepticon who are actually going to play in the Gladiator tournament. So uh, here we go. Um, here's this guy. It's a Celtic Knight. Fantastic, ridiculously awesomely painted. So uh, a lot of good stuff coming out of Poland. Um, they are, um, you know, it's still, uh, my experience has been uh, it's still not as fast as a U.S.-based uh, company to get your stuff, but, uh, you know, that's, uh, that's not always such a big problem. Here's shields. Look at these shields. Awesome. Angel shields. That's neat. Let's see if I can show you some of these. Oh, that is, that is really, that's, I mean, doesn't that just make something special? That's fan, I mean, that's ridiculously fan, like, you could do a uh, Empire Death Knights, you know, death-themed, like a Lore of Death or whatever it is. So, that, I mean, that's just something I kind of pulled out of the top of my head. Um, also, uh, you should remember that Blue Table Painting has two blogs. Uh, well, one of them is bluetablepainting.blogspot.com. Uh, that's in that's in the liner notes. You can find a, a link to that. And the other one is uh, wow, these are really cool mechanical wings. Neat. Add those to a figure. Now you got something special. That's cool. Kind of steampunk too. So uh, you know all these upgrades that they they could fit with a lot of different games. And I just yeah, fantastic guy. That is great. I want to have somebody doing this in house uh, at Blue Table Painting. And you know the advantage there is you'd have you'd have an automatic audience, an, uh, an, you know a what's that called a, a consumer base, ready to go, 
and also if the if the arrangement was there I'm just saying if I'm just throwing out an idea here you could have facilities uh, to do it in as well kind of like a little sub business that would complement complement our business and uh, so the other blog like I was saying about the blogs the other blog is wow look at these that's awesome these are plates that you like put on a tank that's cool come on um, the uh, other blog is called Gately Musings, G-A-T-E-L-Y, musings.blogspot.com. That's my personal blog, and uh, only for the brave of heart. It's not, you know, very much game-related there. I put up whatever I feel like. Uh, musings, musings is the key word, just things that I'm thinking about, and, you know, uh, stuff that's going to make sure that I can never run for elected office. So, um, although that probably won't stop me. All right, so look at this. Look at this bust. This goblin bust is pretty cool. Let's uh, get that in there. That's awesome. All right, folks. Uh, those are just some websites that I wanted to show you. How long is this? We're, we're creeping up on 30 minutes. I want to say again that I really, really appreciate everyone that uh, tunes in. And to me, to see so many thousands of people I look at uh, the videos that I put up every day. I just have to say it's it's awe-inspiring. It's a privilege. I I make my usual disclaimer. I claim no special virtue. I'm just a I'm just a regular guy who is possibly under a lot of scrutiny, an unusual amount of of scrutiny. So uh, I'm not telling anybody how to live their life. Uh, I'm just um, opening up a you know, a window into into my own life and, you know, uh, pursuit of happiness allows you to uh, go and do and think and speak as you please. And isn't that wonderful to, to have those freedoms, um, those freedoms which can, can never be taken away from you because they are inalienable, they are part of the very fabric of your being. And with that, I leave you and I hope that you have got your inspiration for the day.